So the very last part of our very last dive at Ashmore Reef was just amazing. We finished off the last of the work and we thought we'll just have spend the last half an hour looking around for that last extra special discovery and oh my goodness, we did it. There was about four sharks, there were a couple of stingrays, we saw a, a, a couple of snakes. Everyone was just excited, everyone rushed into the control room because they all wanted to be a part of it and it was just brilliant. And then to top it all off, it was Sebastian's fifth birthday and so we took a minute to raise the flag and uh, wish Sebastian a happy birthday. And the vibe was just fantastic, it was a really, really exciting finish. There's been a huge number of achievements on this trip. We've fully circumnavigated Ashmore Reef and mapped the entire mesophotic zone. We've spent 140 hours on the seafloor in that mesophotic zone, documenting the species that live there and looking at the different habitat types. So we've been able to document the communities associated with the halometer beds. We've, we've looked in depth at some of the coral dominated areas. We've also examined all the sponge gardens and the amazing diversity of sponges that we see in those areas. But also as we go deeper where they, at first look, some of those areas seem really quite barren. But once we get up close with the camera and we start to look in detail, they're full of colour and they're full of life and it's just amazing to see the diversity that's in, even in some of those deeper areas. So our surveys have also shown that the marine park is seemingly in pretty good health. We've seen evidence of new coral recruitment. We certainly haven't seen any signs of damage to the reef in the mesophotic zone. So we've been able to document new records for Western Australia during this expedition and that includes the Great Spotted Cowrie, which has a very distinctive shell and people were quick to spot that uh, when we stumbled across it. So I was really excited to see so many nudibranchs on this trip. Um, they're obviously a group that I really love and work on a lot and I wasn't necessarily expecting to find so many. So we found examples from a bunch of different families. There's some species that look familiar and some that are almost certainly new. We're also really happy to see a few volute snails, which have really beautifully patterned uh, foot. The, the foot of the snail is really stunning looking, and it's a thing that you don't get to see when you just see the dead shell. Another highlight for me was seeing a very, very tiny nudibranch that was hitching a ride on a sea cucumber's back. So we zoomed in for a look and there it was. It was wonderful. So one of the great things that we've been able to achieve on this trip is rediscovering Ashmore's sea snakes. We've seen at least four different species of sea snake while we've been uh, diving around the reef. And in fact, over the period of the trip, we've seen probably close to 60 different individuals. And that's an absolute record for an area where most of the snakes had seemingly disappeared completely. So it gives us again hope that the, the management of the marine park is helping those sea snakes to come back and to thrive. Partnerships with the Schmidt Ocean Institute just enable scientists to do so much more. The ROV is an incredible tool that we can use to carry out our work in better and more interesting ways. And in Australia we haven't had access to a scientific ROV before, so we've just been absolutely thrilled to have the, the technology here. It's been a fantastic journey. <laughs>